For the first time, we're hearing from Fort Sanders Regional Medical Center. They are responding since the release of the KPD body camera footage. It shows the arrest of Lisa Edwards. Officers arrested her for trespassing after the hospital called KPD when Edwards refused to leave after she was discharged. Now, she did die of a stroke the next day. Our John Pierce has got a statement from Fort Sanders. John, the hospital says they have an investigation going on. Is that right? Yeah, that's right, Ted. Hospital officials confirmed there is an ongoing investigation and they have been in touch with Lisa Edwards' family. Hospital officials did not say what sparked the KPD call or whether Edwards tried to go back into the emergency room after being discharged. Body camera video shows a hospital security guard telling the officers that Edwards was a difficult patient. We saw the KPD officers in the video telling Edwards to get in the vehicle and thought she was faking it when she said she couldn't walk or breathe. Edwards had a stroke in 2019 and hasn't been able to walk since, hasn't been able to walk since, according to her family. This is the statement from Fort Sanders. The hospital has been in contact with Miss Edwards' family and expressed our sorrow soon after their loss. Although we cannot comment on specific details, patients are not discharged from the emergency room unless they are stable. We have just seen the Knoxville Police Department's body cam footage and are continuing our investigation. Edwards' family members tell me they are working with an East Tennessee attorney to see if a lawsuit is necessary. Well, John, what about the four KPD employees who responded to the call? What's the status there? Yeah, they're still on paid leave, Brittany, as KPD's internal investigation continues. However, they were cleared of all criminal charges by the district attorney earlier this week. All right, John Pierce, thank you, John.